<laughs> so hello guys i hope everyone is doing uh, really good and fine so let's today uh, talk something about me uh, competitive programming and hacker so let's talk about competitive programming like uh, cp first so like uh, two years ago i used to do cp on a regular basis and i really used to enjoy it guys but uh, then I had to stop doing it as I was uh, busy in job hunting for myself as I was uh, from Tier 3, 4 Kinda College and it did not have good uh, on-campus opportunities. So I had to search things for myself off campus. So after some hit and trials, luckily I ended up at uh, Amazon as an SD and that has been uh, really great for me. And uh, since then, most of my time has been spent in uh, if I talk about it, it has mostly been spent in mentoring my students as I have uh, 100 to 200 students under me and uh, managing my website and most of the time I'm busy with my job. So yeah, that's why I've not been able to do CP much. But uh, whenever I start missing uh, the thrill of solving the problems, I generally visit Hacker Earth and attend few contests. So if I talk about my coding journey or CP journey, I can say that... Uh, so for this video, we will be uh, mainly be focusing on Hacker Earth and in other videos, we will focus on other platforms as well. So coming to Hacker Earth, so this is the first platform on which I started coding. So like we can see in June 2018, okay, so in June 2018, I was a completely a noob or you can guys say a complete beginner in coding and I started with Hacker Earth and my rating was going down continuously. Uh, this was because I had no knowledge. So. It took, quite, it took me quite some time to uh, improve and uh, then I just kept improving linearly, which we can see here. So yeah, it has been a really nice journey and thanks to Hacker Earth for all the learnings which I got from them. So uh, we can observe here that in every three to four months I have attended a contest and uh, finally, if we see, the best thing is that after the, all these years, I think it has been three, four years since I've been competing on Hacker Earth and after all these years, my new rating now, after the recent contest, which was uh, June Circuits 2022, which is a very pretty interesting long contest. So my rating has been updated to 2006. And the best thing about this, guys, is that uh, if we check the leaderboard, okay, so my all-time ranking, all-time All India ranking on Hacker Earth has been updated to All India rank 12. And this is such a happy moment for me because... Uh, like I had started uh, like coding uh, three to four years ago here and it was always my dream to uh, end up in top 10 or top 20 ranks uh, on the all time leaderboard in the all India rankings. So finally it has kind of come true. Now, obviously I will try to break in the top 10 barrier as well. So uh, yeah, it has been a pretty interesting journey. And uh, like if we try to talk, let, okay, so let's talk about the June circuits, okay? This was the recent contest, which was conducted in June. And after this contest, uh, my All India rank was updated to 12 and my rating was updated to 2006. So yeah, we can, uh, I, I will be talking, like I will be giving a brief overview about this contest. And if you guys want editorial or brief solutions of each of the problems, you guys can ask to me in the comments and I will make the videos on the same. So uh, let's discuss each problem of this contest and before that like the results of this contest were that uh, okay so my global rank was 31 in this contest and my total score was triple uh, 5.242 so let's start discussing few of the problems of this contest so if we like okay guys so let's talk about the problem k good trees so this was the first problem of the contest and uh, Just a second. Yeah. So this was the first problem of the contest and it was not about trees. It was just a tricky problem. All you need is uh, some basic observations and some basic maths. And uh, finally, the problem bo uh, boils down to just uh, find the number of factors of the given number and do some subtraction, like subtract one, something like that. And uh, this problem was uh, yeah, pretty simple, just based on observation, just based on observation. So this was the first problem of the contest. Now coming to the second problem of the contest. Okay. So if I try to give my, okay, observations and overview for this problem. So initially when I read this problem, guys, I had no idea uh, 
uh, what and what to do for the problem of memory reader. But uh, after uh, like I went through the constraints of the problem, I observed that n is just uh, less than or equal to ten raised to three. So surely dp can work here. So I came up with like really really strange dp states, and I came up with okay. So I came up with the really strange uh, dp states. Let me check if this is working. Yeah. So I came up with a really strange DB states. Uh, what I did is I used uh, two-dimensional uh, dynamic programming. And uh, after after getting the states and the recurrence formula, the problem was very straightforward to solve. So it's not hard, but to know that you have to do DB is the main thing. So I was lucky that I uh, quickly, like after a few minutes, I found, found out what to do there. So yeah, memory reader is uh, completely based on dynamic programming. And uh, if I talk about, uh, some people even solve this using BFS on arrays, something like that. I heard about it in my Telegram group after the contest. Really? Yeah, so the third problem of the contest, this was really a uh, tough one. Okay, so for seasoned, for seasoned, for regular competitive programmers, this is not tough. But for beginners and uh, newbie people, this is really, really tough problem. So the thing is that the problem the problem name is tree query this problem involves many things at once okay you need to have idea of uh, some you need to know i have some like knowledge about greedy strategies then you also need to know about things like uh, flattening the tree into an array then range queries on the array then you need to have good idea of bfs dfs and things like that okay so the, also, you need uh, also you need the knowledge of Euler tool on the tree. So if you have all these knowledge and concepts right, then it is nothing. It is just implementation of all those standard concepts. So yeah, it requires four to five concepts mixed at once. So we can see that the code is also pretty long. It took two zero one lines of code to solve this problem. And yeah, this was also a pretty good problem for me. Now coming to the fourth problem of the contest. Okay, so. In this problem, unfortunately, I could get only 30 points out of 100. I could not get full marks. Why? Because if I talk about odds or subsequences, there is nothing related to ZOR in this problem. If you dig deeper, if you dig deeper, you will know that all this prob all uh, the only thing that this problem involves is uh, math, then math, then some combinatorics. And the most important thing due to which I was not able to solve this problem is that it involved uh, binomial coefficients and some manipulation. Then the most important thing is NTT plus uh, FFT. So the thing is, I was really good at these both concepts two years ago, but now I had uh, forgotten these things, okay, completely forgotten. So uh, I was not able to apply these concepts and algorithms in that problem. And the problem is nothing but uh, mainly an implementation of NTT and F50. So yeah, uh, it did really hurt me to not being uh, not being able to get full marks here. But uh, I will sure I'll make sure that I revise uh, these both concepts and get back up in the game. Yeah. So odds or subsequences uh, uh, was a pretty interesting one. Now coming to maximize array function. So yeah, initially I f uh, felt like uh, we just have to use that mixed dynamic programming uh, which is uh, some popular concept i heard from some russian youtuber so yeah uh, i thought like we have to apply that then i did some observation and realized that it's nothing but it's again a simple total com to a problem completely based on dynamic programming and this was a good level dynamic programming problem it again needed the same thing all it needed was uh, let me change the slide yeah, so the need of the R was that uh, all it needed was uh, 2D dynamic programming and the states were not weird. The recurrence relation was also pretty good. But the thing is that uh, to come up with the states, okay, to come up with the states was hard. Okay, that was hard to come up with the states. What should be the states and the parameters of the DP? To come up with that, it was hard. And I think one needs a uh, practice of like 50 to 60 problems to solve problems like this in a contest. So, yeah. But other than that, this problem was not that hard. And I was uh, amazed to see that it is at number five or six. Uh, it could be at number two or three, but it does not deserve the spot of number five or six. On the contrary, I think that this problem, which is on number four, it should be at 
uh, the last numbers because it involves entity and FFT. So let's close the problems which we have discussed. K good trees done, or all of sequences done, memory reader done, tree query done. Then, uh, yeah, let's come to, yeah, okay. So let's come to this approximation problem, okay. Now, this is a very complicated approximation problem on trees. So the thing is that uh, we have to try various different strategies, but I was really busy with my job, so I did not get time to try various strategies. And I got some uh, suboptimal score and I was uh, happy with it. But yeah, you guys can surely explore and try different strategies to maximize the score as this is an approximation problem. Yeah. So special tree was just an approximation problem. I can give a full solution to any of the problems. If you guys want, you can comment down below. Uh, as of now, I'm just giving a short overview of the problems. Okay. Now coming to the problem of query in Hackland. Hack okay. So uh, in this contest, I solved all the problems completely. Only two problems I wasn't able to solve completely. One was Ozzo subsequences. And the second one is query in Hackland. Now this involves complex convex hull logic. Okay, guys. So again uh, i was good at these things uh years ago and now i totally forgotten but i'll make sure that i will again revise my concepts and get a full score in this problem in practice so yeah this was pretty interesting problem and oh the setters are also quite my favorite ones <laughs> so yeah this involved uh convex logic and but i just did brute force and got some uh suboptimal score here as well now coming to the hardest problem of the contest and this was path queries this one is my total favorite guys it was total favorite problem so what this problem involved was uh let me just go here so in this problem basically the problem asked uh, says that we are given a tree and then we will be given queries okay many queries uh, involving two nodes u to v so on the simple path from u to v we have to output three things the sum of three things the minimum node the maximum node and the medium median value of all the nodes which are there in that path now it's easy to solve this problem using brute force but that will only give you 10 or 15 score out of 100 but i wanted obviously i needed full score or my ranking and uh, rating would go down so for this problem, what I did first, okay, so let me talk about method one. This problem is really complicated, guys, so it needs knowledge of. So first I tried square root decomposition, uh, like the MO technique, okay, the MO algorithm technique, which the MO algorithm technique on trees, okay, on trees. So what I did basically was that uh, I converted the tree to an array okay guys then i use ammo algorithm on this array okay now this is a bit of complicated concept okay then by using this i was able to uh focus on the focus on range queries of the array okay range queries of the array and then what i was doing in method one is that i was using uh, multiple maps i was using uh, maps sets and things like that multiple data structures i was using inside the ammo algorithm uh, to get the answer for my queries and also i was using with this see how complicated is this i was also using binary index tree and i was also using on the top of that i was also using binary search okay so it was taking o of n uh, root n plus q into log n into log n time okay guys so i had to use these many all these concepts in just a single problem that's why i love this problem a lot and i think this one is the hardest one but the what is the <laughs> best thing here is that even after doing all this you don't get 100 out of 100 in this problem this time complexity will tle guys this time complexity will tle so i I had so i started thinking guys what to do like even after doing so much i was not getting full scores so and obviously i was lucky to find out that this will not give full score because if you check the time limit the time limit is three seconds and if you just fix in the numbers of n and q here you will come to know that three seconds so i came up with a very novel novel method too okay it was really really interesting this method only takes o of n root n plus q into log n time and this completely fits into the three limit uh 
three uh, second time limit. Okay, three second time limit. So yeah, this was a pretty good thing. So what I do is I again I'm just using ammo algorithm uh, to convert uh, the tree to an array, and then I'm using ammo algorithm on the uh, query ranges. But 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 there is a very traditional concept of finding. Uh, median in stream of integers okay guys this is a very popular traditional concept so in this what we do is we use two heaps okay in a stylish manner so all i did is that i used mo with two balanced binary search trees that's it no extra data structure two balanced binary search trees and mo algorithm and finally i was able to uh, get the solution which just runs in three second time limit so it's very important that you guys know traditional important algorithms because using this algorithm and doing the manipulation that inside the ammo algorithm it was really brill a brilliant experience for me and uh, time limit come down to n root n plus q log n so yeah that's all about it guys we will meet in the next video and i'll be discussing about uh, yeah my part two of dynamic programming and We'll also be discussing more about the other platforms and contests. So, yeah. Okay, guys. Bye. Take care. See you guys soon.